breakfast is served. Yay! Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. This steak is really yummy. It's made out of jackfruit. So that's fruit in there. <laughs> and it tastes really good. It tastes very real. So that's amazing. The power of fruit. And I have some potatoes and um, garlic chili potatoes with some green onion mm. love it love it love it for those of you wondering what brand the steak was this is it it's called the very good butchers hello i am doing my skincare for going out for the first time today I have had a late start today. It's around like three o'clock. Um, I had a pretty long nap after I made breakfast. I completely zonked out, read a, read a book. I'm reading Pew by Catherine something or another. And it was, it's pretty good. It's a uh, well-written and um, I find it very poetic. So it's, that was nice and relaxing. And so I had a nap. Now I'm gonna do my skincare for the day. So I thought I'd show you my routine because um, I have never really had a skincare routine until this year. So I'm very proud of myself. So I'm starting off with this Acure or Green Juice Cleanser, it is called. So I take a little bit of that. I know there are different beliefs of skincare some people believe you shouldn't mess with your skin you should allow the natural oils to do its thing some other people believe that yes your skin does need tendons and cares and it's in my eyes after i do the cleansing i do toning with witch hazel um and this one has rose water in it so it's even better better for me and i just put that on with my hands then i take this one love facial toner which i really love their toners they come in sprays so they're really easy to apply throughout the day and the ingredients are so long and there's so many great things in it so i love that and i'm gonna take my fan and fan it off until it dries mm. this always wakes me up it's very cool it's like woo. Next, I'm going to take these Derma E serums. One is for vitamin C, one is just like for dewy skin. I originally started off with using this and I loved it so much, I wanted to use this one. So, I'm going to use both of them. Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use both. Today I'm gonna to use both. And I just take a little bit amount of both and mix, mix, mix on my fingertips and then pat it in to the skin <laughs> and I'm patting it in like this because I hear that this is good to awaken the skin to be able to absorb the products better when you get the lips going in the skin cells Next, I'm going to take some oil. I'm taking this anti-aging oil from Derma E. And I'm going to put some of that on my face roller. Okay. And then I'm just going to do a little mini face rolling session. Starting on the sides of my neck. Very light pressure. Hmm. And you can roll it to the back of the neck, the back of the head. Feels so good. Oh, yeah. I like you can go up and down or you can go side to side. And this just awakens the lungs. Ooh. And gives you some goosebumps. That feels really good. Oh my gosh. Now let's take it to the side. Oh. Wherever. Just pulling it out and up, 
out and up. And you can go back down so you can go out, up, and down the neck. And it's just, it just feels really good. It's a really nice way to relax. Give yourself some love. Ooh. And I just do not an intense amount. I go to with forehead to one side and down. Hmm. And while I do this, I can daydream. I can say some manifestation intentions for my day. I'm going also under the eye with the smaller version. Ooh or just breathe and check in with myself so that is my skincare routine for right now i am happy with my skin i do have a few breakouts right now but that's part of being a human being and it's a part of being alive so i'm thankful i am alive and i'm thankful i can heal you know it's kind of fun to have imperfections um being perfect is just not interesting so i'm not interested in it but with that being said, I am actually very excited because I'm learning a new skill. I've been taking pottery classes, so I have to like, or I get to go into the studio um, when classes aren't in session, like outside of class, I get to go into the studio and practice. So I'm going to practice trimming, which is something I'm very scared to do. Because last time I trimmed on my own, I broke the pot and we've only practiced trimming once. So I made some stuff that I'm proud of last time. And A, I hope they're not too dry to trim. B, I hope I won't break it when I trim it. But yeah, so this is a fun experience. I might show you what's happening inside. If not, I'll definitely update you later. I just thought it's, I want to document the process of getting better at pottery. I just love it so much. It's so tactile, sensual, and uh, meditative, so I want to be better at it, but like I said, it's not about being perfect, it's about the journey. I know that's a cliche, but you know, it's important to remind ourselves of things that are simple yet true, because then we won't forget them. So maybe cliches have a purpose or something, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I am silly because um, the studio open hours were actually closed when I went, so I was not able to do any pottery. Hey, you want to say hi? Get it! I wasn't able to work on anything. Um, I was able to make sure... The pots that were too dry, actually I left them there for four days. So I was able to re-spray them with water, rehydrate them, and hopefully able to work on them in class this week. So a little bit of a brain fart moment. And But to be looking on the bright side, I have a wheel at home that I will be practicing on. So I'll probably just show you that. So yeah, I'm just kind of... Um, eating dinner and relaxing before I do that. So I'll check in with you after that. Bye. Hello, it's a new day and I've been working the garden and doing other healing stuff like yoga and I just thought I'd show you what happens when you propagate green onion you bought from the store. I got all this green onion that came from the garden. It's all so good. All this came from little baby propagations that I started from cuttings or the leftover bulbs from green onion from the store. So. 
I have, I'm so impressed. Like the power of nature, everybody, am I right? Oh, it's like a nice little bouquet. Mmm, giving centerpiece. Okay, maybe I'll put that into like a, um, a uh, what you would call it? A vase, put it into a vase. But for now, I am freaking starving. I'm gonna wash my hands and prepare a new TikTok recipe that I'm trying out. So I want to show you. Okay, I'm back after a shower. So the recipe were lemon cups and homemade strawberry sh or sorbet. And you, after the survey has been thawing out for a while, oof, I get a scooper and I just fill up <laughs> very messily <laughs> the lemon cup. Let's try that again. Mm. Tastes really good though. You have some uh, on your lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's still there. My mom liked it. Okay. Ow. Ooh, la la. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. That looks so good. Do you want one? Okay. Yes, I would love one. <laughs> Do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. okay, here you go. So it was a three-step ingredient. All you use is agave, strawberries, and lemon juice. I'm going to freeze it. Cheers. Mmm. Nice little refreshing dessert. Mm. And I think you can even freeze it in the lemon cup so it's mm -hmm. more like um one thing. But get the rest of the flesh out, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I actually didn't put any agave in it. Is it too sour? Mm-hmm. Probably just a little less lemon juice if you don't use agave, right? Right. Mm. Very delicious. Yeah. Look, that's cute. On the mantle, green onion. Who would have thought? <laughs> I love it. Decorating with the garden. And then when I need it, I will just Bring it down and snip, snip. essential oil sometimes or in this case an essence it's a, a Saturn return essence I don't know if it's too dark if you can see that but it has a really a lot of great things it's by the brand sister spinster or spister spinster I think that's it sister spinster yeah and it has willow yarrow chia self-heal desert flower black tourmaline and rose all great stuff to tr for transformative energy. 
and I just put a few dots of that on this pad and place that right on my diffuser. So as I'm getting diffused goodness, I'm getting actually a beautiful uh, spiritual cleanse too. So you don't want to put it too close to the face, but I do like to move it around and direct where the seam goes. And I just feel that it uh, really opens up the congestion in my face and loosens the muscles in a good way, makes my face relax the tension I tend to carry in it. So I'll steam my face for like five to 10 minutes. I'll just have that going. Sometimes I'll just wait. Um, other times I'll do the skincare, rest of the skincare while I'm steaming it. So it's more like a facial, like I'm adding ingredients while my pores are actually open. So I'm gonna do it that way this time. I'm gonna keep moving with the skincare routine. Next, I'm going to use some acid liquid exfoliator, Moon Juice by Moon Juice. It's called Acid Potion. It has like every acid you can think. And I just throw like four drops of that into my palm and I put that all around my face, avoiding the eye area, of course. Put it on my neck and your chest. Next, I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Moisturizer. It's okay i wouldn't i don't rave home about it but i'm gonna i want to finish it up so i'm going to take this amount the next cream i'm using is this vitamin c night cream from derma e and i just bought this so i literally have just used it a few days um, I don't know if you could tell, but it's pretty filled up. It looks practically brand new. So, you know, I like it, whatever. But I actually saw my friend had it on their nightstand. And I asked them how they liked it. And they said they really loved it. It was their favorite. So, there's that review going for it. And, you know, what's, what's good for my friend, I'm like, okay. So, if my friend thinks it's their favorite, it will definitely be mine. We'll see though. It feels really good. It's like really, really creamy, really, really like a gel almost. So next I'm going to take some rose oil and mix it with this Bye Bye Lines. I know I was just talking about not using a lot of chemicals and literally this is again another acid serum that has a lot of chemicals. But I only put like, you know, one or two drops into the face oil that I add or I apply and yeah so I take a good amount of oil whatever oil you'd like I'm using rose oil and I should open this before I put oil all over my hands yeah I feel like I've done that already to the same bottle because there's more teeth marks on here now that I'm looking but anyway and so I'm gonna add like one drop maybe another drop boom because I already put acid on my face earlier so I don't want to you know, overwhelm. And on to the final steps, the lips. I'm going to use this lip scrub from Fresh. It's the Sugar Lip Polish by Fresh. It's just like, you know, essential oils and sugar and like lemon or something. So I just rub the sugar scrub on my lips. Mmm. I feel satisfied with the amount of dead skin I've taken off. I'll take a paper towel and just rub all that crap off. All the dead skin. I will put on a lip mask. I have the Laneige lip mask here. And you know, I think it's okay. I think it's literally like a glorified chapstick. So. That's cool. Um, I like how thick it is. I tend to really 
apply a generous layer onto my lips. beautiful folks so I wanted to close out the vlog here I actually recorded a bunch of stuff on another SD card but that SD card broke today while I was editing so I had some um, more pottery clips of showing me trimming the pots that I had thrown um, I can insert a clip here as to what the end results look like um, I also recorded some pole dancing. I've been taking pole dancing classes. That's been something that's been inspiring me lately because I'm able to embrace my body and embrace divine feminine energy and things like that and heal by learning a new skill. So yeah, I, I, got, I think I got some good shots, but unfortunately that SD card um, broke. So. I attempted to refilm today and I was just, excuse me, mm. I just had some food, sorry. I just was so sweaty that I was just sliding right off. And I think that's important too to note failures in learning something new where it's just a part of the journey and there's this really beautiful Japanese quote. That says here, I have it on my phone. It's called Shoshin. Shoshin. Approach approach tasks with a beginner's mindset. Don't worry about being perfect or having the answers. Just be open to learning and trying new things. So I really love that um, idea of Shoshin. Um, not trying to be perfect and an expert but enjoy being a beginner so i have been enjoy being a beginner at many things um i feel pretty good about my harp journey um improving and things like that i'm excited to learn more always and have more opportunities hopefully and create more too so i'll definitely incorporate more harp on my channel now another thing that i wanted to mention today is that i've been actually going to church on sundays and the church i go to is really um it's christian heavy christian undertones but they say they're non-denominational and um i really enjoy having that tradition of going every week spending having time with family and just a time to celebrate god whether you think of it or you're christian muslim a jewish hindu a buddhist or uh daoist or non-denominational or wiccan or whatever practice you are i think the beautiful thing is that we can all agree that there is a higher power uh a, a one creator that created creates all things at least i i think that so um whenever i'm in there i i definitely replace or ask questions in my mind but i think the positive energy is just really great it's free it's a great inspirational tool so last sunday the preacher was talking about uh, a phil philosopher that touched on the fact that there were three different worlds that we're currently in um, um, in terms of theology so to speak you the first world and this has nothing to do with economic or political stance or anything like that this is like 
um, someone's own philosophical idea. So the first world was based upon mythology. So a lot of people celebrated multiple gods and um, to make sense of uh, the elements or whatever they were experiencing. And I believe they actually did experience magic um, because they were able to, they were so simple in the way that they, or they were so pure hearted in the way that they um, wanted to relate and understand in terms of the d divine things all around and um, legends and stuff like that. I feel like the more you speak, the more energy and the more power those words have. So definitely I believe that whatever they believed was probably true in their reality at the time. So it was more mythological, mythological based. And then the second world is more faith based. So we have different religions springing up. Now we have um, Judaism and then Christianity and all the other Abriac, Abriamic, I don't know, Abriatic religions. And um, so we have more faith happening. We have people writing down specific texts and we're, we're, or uh, um, celebrating specific um, people or prophets to a certain God or just God with a capital G. So, um, and then the world we're in right now, the third world is based on more individual individuality, made more based upon personal reality and our personal desires, um, which I think was really interesting to think about the world in that sort of way. I definitely agree. I think we're definitely in an individual um, mindset. We all want our personal um, high heavens to come true. We all have a strong desire to be authentically ourselves. Um, in fact, that's why cancel culture exists because we, when someone has a differing of view posing our beliefs that we feel is um, against our existence or other people's existence, um, people tend to, egos tend to flare up and they tend to feel like they have to defend themselves and uh, take that person who offended them down actually, so by canceling them. So um, we definitely have a huge uh, pull as a society to being individuals and just being our truest authentic self. And um, the priests are sort of painted it like it was a negative thing, perhaps not necessarily for sure negative, but was like, well, and then how do we tell people about God when people don't want to have a, a something outside themselves telling them what to do, like Jesus or God. And I believe that's because, you know, now we're meant to uh, have be our own version of Jesus and celebrate God from within ourselves. That's why we all have such a strong pull to be an individual because we know by being authentic, we can actually serve God by becoming uh, his child in this flesh, you know? Um, I think that's very, I feel that a lot of people aren't ready to hear this, especially in rel uh, traditional religious circles, because it feels, they say it's blasphemous to say, yeah, I want to be my higher self and my higher self is a smaller version of God. So uh, I am divine by being my authentic self. I feel like a lot of people feel like that's blasphemous and um, things like that. And I feel that it only is true if you aren't being your authentic self, but you're allowing like um, programming to still go on with you're not fully healed from the matrix, basically. Uh, if you're coming from that point of view, that sort of self that's not fully healed, then I can see how we, um, uh, you know, that's not a valuable path to go down or you're not able to really be a leader or be your own, your inner compass is not shining as bright as it could if you were emerged with your higher path by uh, being happy, being joyful, being abundant, minding your thoughts um, and your emotions and your perspective for the highest reality possible for you, things like that, um, taking care of yourself, healing yourself. Um, I think if you're in your higher path and your higher flow, everything you do is for God and you know, saying that you're a part of God and God is within you is not blasphemous, it's actually really, really beautiful. So I personally, when I am learning a new skill and my ego is being 
threatened because I am sucking at it or whatever I fail. Um, I'm seeing that as opportunity to break out of my ego shell and expectation of what's good or bad and just merge with my higher self even more. So I hope I can be an expression for the one creator, for all of you, inspire some of you to um, create for yourself today. Just going out, um, doing something nice for yourself, whether it be doing yoga, dancing, painting, playing an instrument, singing. Um, we all have divine God energy within us and we all are aspects of the one. Uh, that's why we exist so that uh, God can live through us. and. I think that's just not a blasphemous statement. I think that's really self-love and self-acceptance to say. And I hope I can see that message more. I definitely want to like ask questions in church, but, like raise my hand and be like, what about this? You know, I don't, I, I, I personally don't understand how people say that Jesus was God's son. Um, you know, God sent other messengers and then when everyone failed, he sent his own son to deliver the message to Israel to return back to its divine state. Um, I don't, and the, the other messengers before Jesus were the servants and Jesus was God's son. I'm like, well, what were those other messages? messengers, the servants, where were they made from? You know, um, cause in church, they also say that we all are God's children. So wouldn't we all be God's children? Um, I understand maybe Jesus was uh, closely related, more related to God because maybe they're an alien or uh, a divine higher ascended being, you know, a, a spiritual master or something like that, which could very well be, but we all have potential um, to reach Christ consciousness, I think in this day and age. Um, so yes, I will lead you adieu with that thought. I hope to be back regular consistent on the channel here. Um, and if you want to check out my Patreon, please do. I am going to be up and running, creating content more consistently on there, creating yoga content, vlogs, uh, inside heart, music things, and just more of me in general. So don't forget to also follow me on all social medias linked down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all those great things, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.